people receive hundreds of digital messages a day from push notifications to emails. So how do you engage your top prospects and stand out? By sending personalized gifts the old-fashioned way with Sendoso. Sendoso helps you use gift giving and direct mail throughout your customer life cycle, from lead generation to converting customers into brand advocates. From sourcing to sending and centralizing the direct mail and gifting process, Sendoso helps you scale your gift giving, stand out, and keep your brand top of mind. Visit Sendoso.com to learn more. You're listening to B2B Growth, a daily podcast for B2B leaders. We've interviewed names you've probably heard before, like Gary Vaynerchuk and Simon Sinek, but you've probably never heard from the majority of our guests. That's because the bulk of our interviews aren't with professional speakers and authors. Most of our guests are in the trenches leading sales and marketing teams. They're implementing strategy. They're experimenting with tactics. They're building the fastest growing B2B companies in the world. My name is James Carberry. I'm the founder of Sweetfish Media, a podcast agency for B2B brands, and I'm also one of the co-hosts of this show. When we're not interviewing sales and marketing leaders, you'll hear stories from behind the scenes of our own business. We'll share the ups and downs of our journey as we attempt to take over the world. Just kidding. Well, maybe. Let's get into the show. Heyo, welcome back. This is Chris Rudiger up here, your co-host to the podcast B2B Growth ABM series. Today, I'm excited to share with you some really tactical ways to leverage your marketing automation platform, such as Marketo or HubSpot, to come up with some automated direct mail campaigns. These are things that you as a demand gen marketer, marketing programs, VP of marketing, even a CMO should know and should use. The first one is when someone downloads content from your website, automatically send them a $5 e-gift card. Uh, This can be programmatically sent on behalf of a salesperson, SDR, and it provides just that one more touch point and value add. I wouldn't, in that e-gift message, ask for anything. So don't say, hey, you know, can you have a meeting with me kind of thing. It's more of like a pay it forward. Hey, enjoy this coffee gift card while you read this content. Let me know if you have any questions. The next tip, number two, is automatically send a handwritten note when someone attends your event or visits your booth or trade show. This is a really simple, personable tactic that can be automated through your marketing automation platform. You know, think about this yourself. Imagine going, uh, stopping by a trade show booth and, you know, a week later, three days later, getting a little handwritten thank you note. That'll go really far. And that's also could be a bigger part of an ABM strategy where you're just using that handwritten note as a touch point following up from that trade show. And then you could follow up with an email thereafter trying to set up that demo and phone call. The next one is throughout a nurture campaign, trigger a printed case study. Uh, So this is a great way that you could leverage data such as industry, such as persona. And based on that smart list, trigger the relevant content. This is something that Sendoso can print on demand, include a handwritten note or post-it note, package it up and ship it out. The next one, create a trigger that sends your prospect a succulent when they reach a certain stage of the sales cycle. Now, a succulent is just an example. This could be a different item, but certain stages of the sales cycle, you know, you can automate through data based in your marketing automation system and get that person something on their desk to think about your brand and your company. The last one is thinking about opportunities that have gone stale or or sitting in a stage for too long. For example, if an opportunity stage uh, is uh, sitting 21, 41, whatever the, the days is that your company has decided, send them something to kind of reactivate that prospect and re engage them. So, yeah, there you have it. Those are five tips that you can automate today with your marketing automation system. And again, if you have any questions, let us know. You can reach out to me directly. That's chris at sendoso.com. And looking forward to hearing your responses. Thank you. We totally get it. We publish a ton of content on this podcast, and it can be a lot to keep up with. That's why we've started the B2B Growth Big Three a no-fluff email that boils down our three biggest takeaways from an entire week of episodes. Sign up today at sweetfishmedia.com slash big three. 
That's sweetfishmedia.com slash big three. 